Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to create a modern Instagram stories, like this. So let's start it. In this tutorial, we need a vertical composition, so I am using 1080 by 1920, 30 frame per second. Comp name, main comp. Now create a white solid BG layer. Then drag your footage into timeline. Resize your footage according to your choice. And pre-compose them. Also check move all attributes into the new composition. Rename comp name image 1. Now select rectangle tool. And make a rectangle like this. Then go to rectangle 1, and open rectangle path 1, change roundness around 200, and place your rectangle like this. Now duplicate this shape layer. And move this shape layer like that. Perfect. Now select image 1 comp layer and duplicate them, and move above the shape 1 layer. Then select bottom image 1 comp layer, and change track mat alpha mat. If you not found this press F4. Also change the track mat top image 1 comp layer, so that your main comp looks like this. Now, select bottom image 1 comp layer and apply tint effect, you can choose any color as you like. Apply same tint effect top image 1 comp layer, and change the color. Select shape one layer and move your anchor point something like that. And also change the anchor point of shape layer 2. Now select both shape layer, hit P for position and shift R for rotation. Then go to one second forward and add keyframe on position and rotation. Then go to first frame on timer line, and move your first shape layer like this. And rotate it shape layer like that. Now select second shape layer and move the position, like that. And rotate shape layer in minus degree. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and make your graph like this. If your graph not look like this, right click and check edit speed graph. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a null layer. And parent both image comp layer with null layer. Then select null layer and hit S for scale. 
and add a keyframe, then go to 5 second forward and change scale value 110%, so that it's look like little movement in our image. Now create a new composition 500 by 500. Change name text 1. Now add some text element, select text tool and type any text as you like. Now open text layer, go to animate, and add position, and also add opacity. Select position and change Y position around 250, so that it's not visible to our screen. Now select range select a 1, go to first frame on timeline and add a key frame on start. Then go to around 1 second forward and change amount 100%. So it's look like that, also change the opacity 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. If your animation going fast you can move the keyframe any time. Now go to Animator 1, and add Expression. Open Expression select a 1. Then select Amount. I have some expression here, so copy this expression. You can find expression link in description. Then press hold out and press amount stopwatch, and paste the expression. Now you can see that our text have little bit smooth animation. Perfect. Now drag text one comp into timeline. Hit S for scale and adjust them. Move text one layer around one second forward. Go to project window and duplicate text 1 layer, then open text 2 composition. And change the text whatever you like. Now we want to change the animation of text, so open text layer, go to position change Y value 0. Then go to first frame of timeline, and change X value around minus 450. So your text animation look like this. Then go to main comp and drag text to comp player into timeline. Hit S for scale and move little bit forward from first text comp layer. Now duplicate text 2 come into project window, double click to open it. This com too big for our text, 
So go to composition and select composition setting, and change composition height and width, according to your text length. Now go to the main comp and drag text 3 comp into timeline, and adjust the top right corner. Move text 3 comp player around 1 second forward. Perfect, it's look good to me. Go to 5 second forward and trim the timer line. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.